So you go into a relationship giving him everything you have only for him to pull away, claiming that he needs space. So what's going on here, right? At first you assume that it's you. So he's pulling away because he doesn't want to be with you. And it feels like rejection. It can even feel like abandonment. And so you look for a better explanation. Maybe he's pulling away because he's busy or he's overwhelmed or there's something going on with him. And if you just wait it out, he'll come back to you and everything will be fine again. But then you talk to your friends about it and they have a different take. They think that he's playing you. Maybe he's seen other women and that's why he has less time for you. They tell you to dump him and get on with your life. So which is the right explanation or is there something else entirely going on? Hi, I'm Amy Waterman. I am a love expert here at yourbrilliance.com. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing five reasons men pull away and the clues you need to look for. Reason number one, he is struggling and he doesn't want to talk about it. As women, we know what to do when we're stressed or overwhelmed or confused. We go to our friends, we talk about what's happening, and we feel so much better for it. But that's not necessarily how men have been trained. Many men have been taught to cover up their overwhelm and confusion because they don't want to seem weak. They've been taught that it's up to them to fix their problems on their own because being a man means not leaning on anyone. But then he gets into a relationship with someone who can read him like a book and it becomes really hard to hide his struggles. And even worse, she wants him to talk about how he's feeling. And that's the last thing he wants to do. He doesn't want her to know that everything isn't perfect. And so he pulls away to give him some space to get his life sorted. That is one of the most common reasons men pull away. It's just how they're used to dealing with things. So if you have noticed him acting stressed lately and not wanting to talk about it, then this is the most likely reason why. He should seem calmer and a lot more settled when he comes back to you. Reason number two, he's not into the relationship as much as you are, and he doesn't want to tell you. When you are in that lovely honeymoon phase of a relationship, he wants to be with you as much as you want to be with him. It is exciting, it's romantic, and it's everything you ever dreamed of. But the honeymoon never lasts. Eventually, the reality check hits. The reality check is when you take off those rose-colored glasses and you start to see that your relationship isn't perfect. He annoys you sometimes, just like you annoy him. Now, this is often when you'll notice him starting to pull away. He's not as obsessed with the relationship as before. He needs to get back to his normal life. And taking some space from the relationship gives him the opportunity to see if this is still something he wants. Now, in great relationships, the reality check is when you fall in love with each other as you really are, rather than as you want each other to be. So it's a hugely positive step forward. You're shifting from that magical thinking of the honeymoon phase to the practical thinking needed to create a life together. But if you are still in the honeymoon phase while he's gone on to the reality check, things can get really awkward because you're looking at him with stars in your eyes, thinking that he's the most perfect man you've ever met. And instead of feeling flattered, he feels incredibly uncomfortable because he's come down to earth and he wishes you'd come down too. But you are so in love with him that he knows he can't say anything. He doesn't want to hurt you. He wants to be the good guy. And so he tries to figure out a way to give you the perspective that he has. And taking space to himself sometimes seems like the best way to do it. So if your guy seems uncomfortable and distracted with you after he's returned from taking that space, chances are he's half in and half out of the relationship. Reason number three, he needs space, but he doesn't know how to ask for it. You've probably heard of the five love languages, right? But did you know that there is a sixth love language? So we not only express love through quality time, acts of service, gifts, touch, and words of affirmation, but we also express love through giving each other space. Yes, 
giving a man space can actually be a way of showing him love. I remember talking to a male dating coach once about his relationship with his girlfriend. And he told me that whenever his girlfriend got upset, he would leave the house and give her space. And he thought that he was being a great boyfriend because that's what he would want her to do if he were upset. Now, he obviously had not learned the relationship golden rule. The relationship golden rule is the opposite of the regular golden rule, which tells us to treat others as we would be treated. The relationship golden rule asks us to treat others as they want to be treated. And some of us need more space than others. So I am a highly sensitive person and I find that I need that quiet time by myself to recharge because I get stressed when I am around people all the time. So it's important for me to be with a partner who understands and respects my need for solitude. So if your guy regularly takes time for himself and always seems to be in a better mood when he returns, this is probably the reason why. Reason number four, he is testing your boundaries to see how far he can go before you call him on it. This is what your friends tend to conclude when they hear how he's been acting. They think that he's trying to see how much he can get away with. And they may be right. Guys who've got a bit of player in them believe that being too available to a woman is a bad idea because she starts to get ideas about them being together when in fact he's made no promises at all. So if you think this might be your guy, think back and ask yourself whether you've ever established that you're in a committed relationship. So have you had the defining the relationship talk? Have you both said you've stopped dating other people? And if not, then this guy may be pulling away because you are just one of the girls he's playing. He's giving you just enough of his attention to keep you happy, but not enough to make you feel secure. And when a woman doesn't feel secure in her relationship, she tends to pour all of her time and effort into convincing him that she's the one. And she assumes that once she shows him what an amazing girlfriend she is, he won't want to be with anyone else. Now, not only doesn't that work, but it also plays to his advantage because he gets to enjoy her affection, her attention, and her generous gifts without ever having to offer commitment in return. So if things are really amazing when you're with him, but when he's not with you, it's like you're not even on his priority list, this could be the reason why. And finally, reason number five, he pushes away intimacy. So men don't just pull away in new relationships. They also can pull away when you're married. Intimacy anorexia is a condition where men are addicted to withholding emotional and physical intimacy from their spouse. So they may go through the motions of being a dutiful partner, but it's as if they aren't even there. They don't want a close relationship. They will do whatever it takes to stay disconnected. And women in relationships like those tend to say that they feel incredibly alone. They do everything they can to make their partner love them, but they keep hitting a wall. And sometimes if they threaten to leave, their partner will act like they've woken up and start acting like a real husband, but it never lasts. So if your guy pulls away instinctively every time you get close and you feel incredibly alone in your relationship, then you might be dealing with intimacy anorexia. Okay, so there you have it. Your guy might be pulling away because that's how he deals with stress. He might be pulling away because he's not into the relationship as much as you are. He might be pulling away because he has a greater need for space than you do, or because he's testing your boundaries, or because he has intimacy issues. Now, that's not an exhaustive list, clearly, but it can help point you into the direction of what you don't know. Now, in my next video, I'll be talking about ways to deal with his behavior. But in the meantime, for someone else's perspective on why men pull away, check out my interview with love expert Nadine Piet on why men pull away. And I'll put up the link to that next. See you next time.